to get started. There's one thing, out of everything that I own, um, that I, I can't find for part of the Worst of Elf. Um, there's, okay. So the one thing that I can't find is um, the essential lip gloss. Oh uh, no, the essential chapstick. That's what it is. And it's, I got two of them. I got one in vanilla and one in pink lemonade. And they're genuinely the worst things I have ever put on my lips. It's like a greasy feeling and it was not, um, it wasn't good. It, I just, I tried it on, I, I tried it a couple times. Um, each time I would just wipe it off. It was like the worst thing I've ever <laughs> put on my lips. I just, I hated it. And so, sticking with, um, lips. Nearly nude <laughs> matte lip color and it's like, I don't know why. I, I bought this, um, because I, I wanted to try them because I wanted to get into the matte, matte lips. But it's totally totally way too nude for me. Um, definitely washes me out. Uh, you can see it's right there. Um, not worth it. <coughs> um, I'm sure the other colors are great. I have one that I'm waiting for the fall to try because it's, um, it's like a deep red is the cranberry color um and i like that color so i'm gonna wait to try that and i've also noticed that with the matte lip color i don't know if i just haven't had it on long enough to tell but it doesn't seem like it um it doesn't seem smudge proof or anything um and then the, the last lip color um that i have of like my worst of elf um i thought it was going to be and i have um my elf haul video i thought it was going to be this color um, because that's what the swatch looked like online and I really liked this color, but when I bought it, it was super sparkly. And I thought maybe it wouldn't show up too sparkly, um, so I tried it on and it's de definitely, um, 100% sparkly. Um, it's like, it's the worst. And, I don't know. You can feel the glitter in there too. It's it's pretty awful. I wish that they had put the glitters in the swatch online because getting this, I was so disappointed. And I know it's only a couple of dollars, but um, I wouldn't have wasted even that much on this because it's, it's literally it it just looks like a nail polish color. I'd put this on my nails. In fact, my nails are kind of similar to that color. So just I don't know. I didn't like it. Um, I don't think anyone would wear this unless it was as a part of a Halloween costume or um, Mardi Gras. <laughs> I don't even know. So this is not my, not one of my favorites. Um, the next thing that I got, I bought this because I needed a face primer. I had the little um, sample size of the Bare Minerals. It's like a silicone type of, um, Um, so the bare mineral, bare minerals one I have is like silicone, but I don't like, I don't think I like the silicone feeling one, so I'm just all those glitters all for me. So I bought this one, it was six dollars. Um, I wanted the, there was a different one. It wasn't the mineral infused, it was, it was something else. But so it, it's just clear, um, I don't know why I would swatch it, but, so that's like a pump's worth. And it's just clear and it's kind of silicone feeling. Um, it's almost greasy, actually. It doesn't seem to do anything. Like it didn't blur any lines. And I tried using it on its own once, but um, instead of putting foundation on, just to see how it would work. And I know some some primers you can do that with this one. I don't think you can. Clearly, it didn't work for me. Um, it broke me out when I when I used this all by itself. It definitely broke me out, and I just. Um, so this is like $6 wasted, but I mean it's only $6, so I don't recommend this one. I know a lot of people do. It's not my favorite. Um, I haven't found a primer yet that doesn't break me out. If you have any recommendations for a primer like that, um, prefer the drugstore 
I would really appreciate it because I, I need a primer and this one didn't do it for me. And this says it's supposed to fill fine lines and I don't think it necessarily did that. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It still feels greasy though. <clears throat> and the last thing that I own that's um, a worst of is this contouring blush and bronzing cream and I'm gonna be completely honest I don't know why I bought this uh, yes I do it was on sale um but it's just well first off it seems to have co some condensation on it so it comes in this nice little compact it's basically very nice feeling um it's way too dark and it might be because it's like a cream but it's way too dark but um it's just I put it over the the, <clears throat> the bronzer is too orange and the blush is a little like um peachy I think um but you can't contour with this bronzer but it's, it's way too orange it's gonna look muddy it looked muddy so I took it off immediately it's just um it's not very good for my skin tone I guess um it's in St. Lucia. Okay. So now, I have a couple of the best elf products that I own. Okay. So the first two things I have to show you are the um, eyeshadow primers. Very different from the face primer. These actually are amazing. So the first one I got ever was this kind of, um, ooh, that's a lot, flesh colored that kind of blends away to nothing. Um, so, there. And this is amazing. It's the mineral one, and I love this. It makes my eyeshadow stay all day, and I never have had any issues with this. Um, sometimes it creases a little bit, like, in the crease, um, because I have my oily lids, but, um, for the most part, this is fantastic. It's three dollars, so can't go wrong. And then the second primer I have is the Elf Eye Primer and Liner Sealer. So on this side, <coughs> it's a primer stick, and it's like more of a, a like a yellow. Yeah, I'd say yellow toned. Um, primer, and you just blend it out, and it's a little bit tackier, it's a little bit um, uh, better for making like a flawless kind of base for your eyeshadow. <clears throat> it's what I have on my list today underneath the cream shadow that I put on. Then the next two things of sticking with eyes for right now is this waterproof eyeliner pen. This is the eyeliner that I have on today and it is, it's, it was darker actually. When I first used it, <clears throat> when I first used it, it was darker. So it is a pen, so the um, the tip does kind of soften as you use it, and I'm pretty sure when you put it back in, it kind of like pushes against the tip. So <clears throat> kind of not good for that, but um, I like it. It literally does stay all day. It's definitely it's nicer um, when you first get it. Um, the line was definitely much more um, thin, but if you just want like a quick um, line with like no wing, this is really good because I don't usually do a wing. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> and then the lip balm that I do like is this one. It's the Studio, I think. It might be the Studio line, but it has SPF 15, and this is the shade in Rose. So it looks like this and it's a good spot for this. It just adds like a nice, this is that last one, nice tint um, of color to your lips and I love colors like this so I really um, like this and it doesn't have that greasy feeling at all. It feels like a lip balm and it's great. Um, I really love it um, for everyday use especially when I want a little bit of color. The next things I have, I'm not going to swatch them because there's too many. But the Elf Baked Eyeshadows are 
fantastic. I have almost all of them. Um, I've got Enchanted and Burnt Plum. I have to say, I've, I've never tried using these dry. I've only ever used them wet, and they have the best pigmentation wet. This one is Toasted, which is like my favorite one, um, next to the um, Enchanted. And I've got this one, I, I wanted to use it as a highlight, but it's very shimmery. It's Moonlight Serenade, and that broke. I don't know if you can tell, but it broke when I got it, so I have to take that off. And I've got this one is Bark. It's just a very nice um, dark brown. They all have a shimmer, except maybe. Yeah, no, they all have shimmer. So this one is Chocolate Dreams. Um, so, I mean, if you want an all matte look, I wouldn't go for these necessarily. And then this one is Pixie. Um, so, and then I have a trio, but I've never used the trio before. Um, this is in Peach Please, so I think you're supposed to swirl it all together. But, I love these. I use a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush, and I um, use like a, a cleaned um, mascara spoolie, and I just kind of break up the top layer, and then I pick up what um, flaked off. And it just... It covers nicely, it's got great pigmentation, none of them are patchy, and they're so, so, like a satin sheen, and it's just, oh, it's beautiful at all over the lid. I highly, highly, highly recommend these. Um. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, subscribe below. And I'll catch you at my next one. Bye.